Lantern Rite is nearly here. Why don't we decorate the inn this year? Oh, don't you know? On the first full moon of the first month each year, Leoa celebrates the Lantern Rite. It's a festival to commemorate the heroes from the past. After dark, the people release Xiao and Ming Xiao lanterns into the night sky. Oh, may the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. This is the meaning of the lanterns. We believe they act as the beacons in the night, guiding bygone heroes back to their homeland. Wow, it sounds like a grand festival. And where there's a grand festival, there's always special seasonal snacks. You catch Paimon's drift? You want to get involved in the lantern, right? <sighs> That's great! The festive period leading up to the day itself is all part of the celebrations. <laughs> During this time, we pray to bring peace and ward off bad luck. Leo and locals call it bidding farewell to the old and welcoming the new. If you're looking to take part, it's not too late. Oh, um, also, if you're able to, <clears throat> could you <laughs> try to convince Xiao to go with you? We're not close. I wouldn't know how to ask him myself. But it seems that you've grown familiar. Yeah, Paimon thinks it might be best to leave him alone for a few days. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it. You should get yourselves down to the harbor. If you leave too late, the city will be crowded with people and you won't be able to make the most of it. Get going. Happy Lantern Rite.
these shell lanterns are very warm. I'm sure they sell well in the <laughs> Young man, if I may be so bold, how much for the floating thing, hmm? What a strange thing to say! But Paimon's curious, what number did you have in mind exactly? Oh, forget it! Let's assume you men Paimon is worth more than Mora can buy! <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm having some financial trouble recently. I probably couldn't afford it. I'm just a small-time merchant, anyway. I don't deal in rare and exotic treasures. You know, the more you talk, the more suspicious you sound. My, someone's in a grumpy mood, aren't they? Here, maybe some candy will make you feel better. Ooh, suspiciously trustworthy! So, I assume you two are in Liyue for the lantern, right? This year's Mingxia Lantern is supposed to be a sight well worth the wait. The plastrite that will lift the lantern into the air is the largest in 20 years. It's big enough to make you wonder if the fabled floating city in the clouds really does exist. I guess it must just be held up by a similarly sized chunk of plastrite. Sounds awesome! <laughs> I hope our paths cross again. Welcome to Liyue. Well, I can't speak for the whole of Liyue Harbor, but you're always welcome in my store, at least. Wow! So many skulls! Here, there, everywhere! I'm Ching Ching. I just donated Dolly. She's my rag doll. Last night in my dream, Dolly told me her wish was to fly up into the sky and see the view. So I gave her to the lady over by the big deer lantern. Dolly's wish will come true now. Won't it? <laughs> I did the right thing. Didn't I? Wishes are supposed to come true at the lantern, right? Aren't they? This year's Mingxiao Lantern is dedicated to Sky Bracer. He always was a show-off. I'm sure he will be very pleased. Well, that's the plan. I do hope they make the antlers big enough. They were his pride and joy, after all. The story goes that the antlers were made from the very essence of Rex Lapis's divine power, which made it the hardest material in all of Lyur. But then that fateful battle happened, the gods exchanged powerful blows, and the mountain started collapsing. To avoid impacting the villagers at the foot of the mountain, the Adeptus got his friend to chop his antlers off. He used those blood-drenched antlers as a wedge to prop up the mountain. And if that wasn't enough of a sacrifice, he then kept on fighting until his blood was drained and his life ran out. Thanks to him, Mount Tianhong still stands tall and proud to this day, and the blood that he lost in the battle turned into the Bishui River. <laughs> Whether you believe the story or not, I'm just happy. You're willing to listen to me tell it. Surely the reason the Lantern Rite exists is because people throughout the ages have chosen to come together as friends, rather than stay in isolation. Goodbye. 
May the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. This year's Ningxiao Lantern is dedicated to Skybracer. He always was a show-off. I'm sure he will be very pleased. Well, that's the plan. I do hope they make the antlers big enough. They were his pride and joy, after all. The story goes that the antlers were made from the very essence of Rex La- But then that fateful battle happened. The gods exchanged power. He used those blood-drenched antler thanks. <laughs> Surely the goodbye. This is the plasterite to be used for the Ming Xiao Lantern. The whole of the Xiao Market is centered around it. Oh, hello! Who are you? I'm Zhang Zhao. Recently, I've been tracking progress on the construction of the Ming Xiao Lantern. You seem like newcomers. Is this your first lantern ride? Yes! How can you tell? Well, I don't remember running into any weird and wonderful mascots at last year's festival. You'll see lots of people releasing little lanterns during the festival. Those ones are called Xiao Lanterns. But there's also a huge one, a joint effort by all the people of Liyue Harbor. That one is called the Ming Xiao Lantern. Almost every business in Liyue has a booth at the annual Xiao Market. But despite its popularity, this is the one time of the year they're not looking to make a profit. The street market exists solely to raise the funds and materials required for the Ming Xiao Lantern construction. Oh, the Xiao Market. Does it have stuff you can eat? Plenty. And if I do say so myself, the Lantern Rite is the best festival for sampling Liyue's local delicacies. It is Liyue's biggest annual festival, after all. Showing off your craft is a great way to drum up a reputation. So even if there's no more to be made, everyone is secretly going all out to get their produce under the spotlight. Folks in Liyue are so smart. If you need any help, you can look for Wang Ye. She's overseeing the Lantern Rite. She's usually somewhere around the Xiao Market. She's your first port of call. Oh, will she know which stall sells the tastiest stuff? <laughs> no doubt. When it comes to the Lantern Rite, no one knows more than she does. Got it! Let's go to the Xiao Market and look for Wang Ye. And then go to the stall with the tastiest food and eat till we're stuffed. 